All right, so we have a kitchen area with the RV, and when you open up the kitchen area, the lock for the door is magnetic, so that'll hold it in place. There is a latch here, which when you push the latch, it will let you pull this out. And locks in place. Once you have it out, underneath here, there is a latch for a switch, which lets you lock down a leg, and then you put this leg down to the ground so that it's supported. Now over here, we have a kitchen supply area, Oops. Which, which also has a clip-on condiment bin, which can be snapped to this with, with snap clips. And there is also a basin for the sink, which folds out, and the sink, which is stored here, gets put onto that. There's also a garbage can and garbage bag, which I'll put on the ground here. And what you need to do here is uh, for the refrigeration unit, it works off a 12 volt as well as 120 volt. When you're using it, you just need to unclip it, and then the unit opens and stores. It has a light, it's cold, and um, it will refrigerate items for the trip. When you have the stove, that folds up, and then it clips into these clips. In order to light the stove, basically you just turn on the stove and you light it. I'll show you the propane turn on in a moment. And what we have here is the propane line for the stove. This also is push to fit connections. So when you push them, it will snap into place and lock. And then there is also another one which is the onboard propane, which you plug in here. A key thing to note is these must be in line in order to provide propane. There is also one up here, which also needs to be in line to provide propane. To turn the propane on, you basically take this little latch and open this lid, and there is a propane turn on, just like on a home grill here. Be sure to fasten this back when you're traveling because you could lose the cover. So going back to the stove, now we have propane supplied and on, and when I turn it on, the stove is warm. Sometimes you can't see the flame, so be sure to look and make sure that you have a flame or heat. Underneath is all the condiments that you need, uh, all the utilities that you need to uh, cook, uh, salt, pepper shakers, everything that you need pots and pans wise, right underneath this. So when you're stowing it to put it back away, you need to be sure that you put everything in reverse order back to where it is. So as I'm doing this, I will be turning off the propane to the right and then unplugging it. And then I'll also be doing the same thing here, unplugging and then putting the propane hose back and cap back on the propane to prevent it from getting debris inside of it. You will put the propane hose back between here And then latch, oops, latch it back in place once again so it doesn't go anywhere. Now, once I put back this, basically what I need to do, make sure nothing's gonna be in the way of this slide mechanism, which means I usually throw the cord up on the top so that it's not in the way. And then you have to put the leg back up before rolling the unit back in. So in order to get the leg up, you basically push in these pins and it goes up. You pull the latch out of the way, fold it up and lock it in place. A key thing is when you're rolling this back in, you have to push the latch, let it slide, but you have to hold the leg up or it will not, will not close. You have to make sure you hold that leg up until you're all the way in. And then when you hear it latch, you know it's good to go. And then you can just restore the kitchen and everything else to the way it was.